The importance of superfoods. It's important no matter what your age, but especially as we grow older. Saturday, by the way, is World Senior Citizen Day. And our guest this morning has a recipe chock full of all kinds of nutrients. We're excited to learn about this. Joining us live is Shanti Apello, a registered dietitian from Blue Cross Blue Shield, Michigan. Always a pleasure to have you with us, Shanti. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Well, let's just dive right in. I understand you're making a smoothie for us today. Yes, I am. So this smoothie in particular is going to cater to all the needs of seniors. So I'll go ahead and make it for you guys, but spare you the noise. Uh, but one of the things that happens when we grow older is that our thirst mechanism tends to decrease. And so it's important to always keep water on you. And so smoothies are great for that because you can pack in either water, ice, or uh, milk in this case. I'm also packing in some flax seeds in this. One thing that can happen as we age is that our digestive system tends to slow down. Uh, and so getting enough fiber is really important, but enough uh, about that. One of the great things about flax seeds is that it has omega-3. So it's really great for our brain health as that also tends to decline over time um, as we grow older. Kale is definitely a superfood. It's gonna have vitamin K, it's gonna have fiber, it's going to be packed with calcium, folate, iron, I could go on. Um, so that's going to be really great in here. Um, and it blends in really nicely, kind of hides in there. Protein is extremely important for seniors. So the reason is when we turn about 30, every decade, we're going to lose about three to 8% of our muscle mass. That increases even more when we turn 60. So we want to pay attention to getting enough protein uh, and also exercising to keep up with our lean body mass. So we've got that. And then of course, berries. Berries are gonna be rich in fiber as well. It's gonna kind of boost our digestive system. And it's also gonna be rich in antioxidants, which can prevent all kinds of chronic illnesses as we grow older as well. So really good smoothie. It's good for breakfast. It's good yeah. for lunch. Yeah. yeah. For sure. For now, sure. when you put the milk in there, do, does it matter what kind of milk you use? Should we go for the whole milk, vitamin D, or is soy milk, almond milk, some of those other milks uh, a good option? I'm glad you asked that because the milk, we definitely want to keep it to a minimum with a fat. So either one or 2%. Um, Plant-based milks can also be a great option, especially because they have calcium reinforced in them often. Uh, so we want to look for a dairy that's going to have about 300 milligrams of calcium. Again, something that's so important for seniors, because as we age, our bones become more brittle. Um, women need to increase their calcium intake around age 50 and men around age 70. Have you found uh, using things like, oh, I don't know, MCT oil or powder uh, in smoothies is something that uh, seniors and others might benefit from? You know, medium chain triglycerides can be really helpful because they're not found in our diet. So they can be uh, very commonly, at least they're found in avocados and things like that, but they can be really helpful for digestion, overall kind of uh, support. And like I said, it's not found everywhere. So it can be good as just a part of a balanced diet. I'm also curious, like a lot of people take many pills and supplements. Um, throughout the day and the week. Um, is it better or, or are those vitamins more bioavailable if you say drink them or eat them versus taking them in pill form? Yeah, so definitely it's gonna be much better to consume them in actual food. One of the reasons is, is that the nutrients are gonna work in synergy with each other when they're found in a food versus in a supplement. Now for seniors though, it can be helpful to supplement with certain nutrients that you're not gonna found in food as much. So around age 50, some physicians are gonna recommend doing a B12 supplement. So just talk to your provider, see what's right for you. But for some people benefits really from those supplements. Well, Shanti uh, Apello, thank you so much for being with us.